Greetings everyone. I'm Khan Ismith from 10th. Welcome to Throne of Reality. And today we have with us our guest and we are going to talk about many things like climate change, global warming, greenhouse effect. Please introduce yourself. Hi everyone, my name is Ahana Mubashir Shah. I've come from Indus International School from Bangalore. So I'm over here for my portfolio and I will be discussing about climate change as it's one of my main concerns and mainly about the marine ecosystem. Please tell us more about the exchange program that you wanted to held here and your portfolio. So I'm here for my portfolio build up and I wanted it to be something about my personal interest and something I wanted like I actually wanted to change. That's why I chose a topic about climate change, especially on the impacts it has on the marine ecosystems. And I'm in Billa for the exchange program because Billa is an amazing school. It's like one of the best schools in Kashmir and I think it can really help advance what I'm trying to do. Do you think there are some environmental change that you felt here and some things which are different at back at your home place and here? Absolutely. In Bangalore, there is a lot of urbanization. The development in the urbanization is really huge. In Kashmir, you also have a lot of urbanization, while at the same time, you'll have green infrastructure, which I think we should implement in almost every other place because we're exploiting a lot of forests and all the natural values we have right now. So you're saying what we need is balance between the development and the greenery and we need to save it. So uh, for that process, we need to stop deforestation and everything. Do you think that development leads to the, dis you know, uh, uh, disruption in some things? Development, it, it like, for example, if you're going to develop agricultural fields, like there are two kinds of agriculture, small scale agriculture, and large scale agriculture, the large scale agriculture, you'll be clearing out huge uh, sums of forests, which of course it's exploiting our natural values and even urbanization it costs us cutting down trees like it's deforestation basically so yeah so you're saying that we need to take some steps for the same because minute steps will make a difference someday not in a short period of time but in the long process it those differences will make some change so please talk about the things that we need to implement in our life so that we'll be able to make a small change. Small things like sustainable development, basically. If one person takes a small step and collectively all of us take small, small steps like energy efficiency or planting a small garden in your house, all of these, it can help lower a small amount of climate change. If it's not vast, at least it's some impact we're having on it. We have some control over it. So I feel like these small steps we're taking towards it can also help lower down the percentage of climate change. So what we need to know about the concept of sustainable development here, uh, like in village, a person uses one bucket of water to, you know, shower and everything. But here we use motors and everything, which there is, uh, that is how the exploitation of energy takes place. Um, it releases the sound energy, the thermal energy, electric energy, and people don't realize it. And that's the huge problem. I feel like people just don't want to realize it. I think like they, they know what's happening, but they're not bothered by it. They're like... Earth's going to end soon enough, but it won't end while they are living, you know. So they don't care about their future generations. It's like what they are living right now is what they need to have. So they are not acknowledging the fact that they are doing something wrong because it doesn't affect them, even though it's going to affect the whole future generation. And that's what sustainable development is about. We need to balance our, uh, you know, uses so that we'll not exploit the uh, resources that our future generation will need. So do you think that human is being careless in this regard and they don't really uh, want to do stuff that they are supposed to do because they just feel like it's not going to affect us. Uh, we'll see what happens. It's exactly like how you said it. Like they don't care about what's going to happen in the future. It's like what they're living right now is what counts. They'll use a lot of fossil fuels. They'll degrade the Earth's atmosphere, deforestation, build a lot of urbanization. As long as they're living a fine life, everything else is Good. normal. Yeah. Good. So, uh, tell us about some change as you've been studying about it and it's your portfolio for the exchange program. Tell us about some steps that we can, you know, acknowledge and we can proceed so that we'll make a small minute change which will help us 
to contribute in the regard so sustainable development it has many steps like either cutting down the plastic usage planting more trees preventing the greenhouse gas emission at least from your side energy efficiency switching to renewable source of energy that's why i'm here at bidla i feel like the team i have right now we all are discussing together and trying to develop new kinds of mitigation or adaptation techniques like we've come up with rainwater harvesting systems like discussing how those work how we can use them for our advantage yeah so you're saying that we need to start with a small number to talk about things and that small number will convert into a huge number in the upcoming future so that we'll be able uh, to be clear when it comes to communication and talking about everything that we have to so please tell me about the cultural differences that you felt here and how do you think we can you know enrich every culture we get to know about see in bangalore our school it has like kids from all over the world so that means we're having exposure to different kinds of culture so we know how the world works in different parts of the area so when we are getting to know and we're getting to exchange ideas like collaborative thinking that like it evolves more we are critical thinking that with the whole uh, like the whole discussion we're having with the different kinds of cultures that helps us enrich our own learnings and helps us like think about what's happening all over the world it's not only in our area we have to take a change to all different parts of the world to help like reduce climate change and any kinds of harm i mean it's very good to talk about such enormous thing that is affecting our future and even if it's it's affecting our you know be, uh, daily things uh there do you do you know about the marble kin so that's happening in india so it's basically that the color of uh, the monument taj mahal is changing because of the uh, um acid rain and everything that's happening it's causing the marble kin sit there so it's us the people who are doing it and who are doing it and who know about it ganga it has one of the high it's it's one of the dirtiest river and it's you know clearing out the fact that it's a religious river and people need to you know be very uh, you know be very humble to it but what they are just doing it just destroying the beauty it holds uh, when it comes to everything so do you think what do you think about that like how can we reduce all these things See, that I are happening like the cause of acid rain is because of the all greenhouse gases which are in the environment effect and the precip- uh, precipitation when it takes place it gets involved with all these greenhouse gases and which causes the the color of the marble to change so that's also our fault because of the use of like uh, in urbanized areas we have transportation the working of our homes hospitals even schools they all run on fossil fuels so i think that's one of the main causes why greenhouse gas emission happens and that if we can lower that down by energy efficiency or switching to renewable source of energy that can help benefit us and all our natural resources around us for example ganga river can also benefit from that so when we talk about india it has like economy which is based on the agriculture most of the times and do you think because of the development in other sectors even if it's the secondary sector or the tertiary sector or anything is it affecting the farmers the um, uh, economy that we have built on one concept and that is agriculture see, i feel like see, I feel see like agriculture like, happens see, agriculture because happens of the because huge of deforestation of lands there'll be a land cleared land out and then agriculture will take place over there so farmers are benefiting so from that at least large scale agricultural large scale purposes. purposes so farmers are benefiting, so farmers benefiting from them our from them. economy is also, also growing also but our forests they are getting destroyed and we are not taking a step towards it we're not forestering or reforesting other forests we're just degrading our natural resources we have so that's a huge impact on our world also the land we are clearing for plantations and everything to take place it's a good you know attribute towards the economy but the land we are you know, the trees we are cutting down for the purpose of construction and everything and the development uh, so called buildings and everything do you think that is kind of you know um, messing up with the fact that this land should be for agriculture and everything but it's just going towards the developmental way that we talk about today even if we are deforesting land for agriculture we still have some benefit of it like even though the soil erosion is happening and there will the soil soil's nutrition is going to deplete but i feel like if you if we are using agriculture for the land instead of urban developments that's a better benefit because if you're using urbanized urbanized developments for those kind of lands there'll be a lot of pollution also happening for example if you're like building up hospitals 
schools or houses in those areas we're also going to produce like non-renewable sources of energy we're going to use those and produce greenhouse gases because see non-renewable sources of energy they're the only reliable source of energy we have no one is depending on renewable energy no one is taking a step forward to it not and not trying to change towards it so yeah yeah so uh what do you think about like um one thing that every person can do which will bring a change on a large scale we can lower down energy efficiency as i was talking about before we can do the same amount of activity in lesser energy basically anyone can do that if they try to they need to have the will and that's why we are here we are going to take a step forward and try lowering down these small impacts like whatever we can do we're going to try to make it better for our uh, earth for it to be a greener space for the economy for our economy to grow flourish but even have our natural stability yeah so so what you're saying is that we need to take a step on the individual basis because one step can make a difference and that's what we need to work on so thank you so much for talking about it it was great to talk to you thank you everybody